Yo, welcome everyone. Today is a very important day. CPI data release. That's why in today's Bitcoin price prediction video, we'll talk about exactly what we can expect, what are the exact levels you should definitely be aware of, and also we'll do a comparison of the fair value gap from 2020 that just got filled. Definitely stay tuned for that. But first of all, what we are going to notice. It does look like that yesterday Bitcoin pushed once more directly towards the upside, directly towards the area of 61,000 US dollars. Now, because of that, we can right now identify a brand new ascending channel. We are going to connect our higher lows with a diagonal, expanding this one towards the upside. And what you're going to notice, it really does look like that on the one hour time frame, we are forming a very nicely respected SNE channel. The support area right here is being perfectly hit, and also the area of resistance, the top of our SNE channel, it is also being respected very, very nicely. So, the first thing that I would say, if Bitcoin does see a push towards the downside in the upcoming hours, because of the CPI data release that we can expect very, very soon, that is definitely going to be a significant bearish Bitcoin indication. Why so? Because when you look at our support area right here, this specific diagonal level, it has been very, very nice nicely respected already in the past and that is definitely going to be a bearish indication if we do start breaking our diagonal level because if we break it most probably we can expect a brand new lower low to be formed maybe even in the upcoming hours later we are going to talk about some very important fibonacci extension price targets but now first of all let us talk about the fair value gap that was already filled only a couple of days ago stock money lizards posted a a very interesting post. Parallels to 2020. The fair value gap or the FWG has been filled. In most cases, panic selling is not a good idea. Within the next eight weeks, we expect a rally that is similar to the 2020 post having period. Stay tuned or buckle up as ChatGPT would say. And it really does look like that we can compare our current price action from 2024 with the price action back in 2020. We got a significant push towards the upside. Everyone was scared exactly at this specific area. And most importantly, the fair value gap at this specific level was actually filled. After that, we started going higher and higher towards the upside, broke our diagonal level and Bitcoin, of course, impulsively continued its way directly towards a brand new autumn high. And looking right now at the Bitcoin price itself, it does look like that most probably history is going to at least some kind of repeat. We filled the fair value gap right here with a significant wick towards the upside. And of course, if the history is going to repeat, all we can right now expect is a significant push towards the upside, breaking our diagonal area of resistance towards the upside. However, locally speaking, as of right now, Bitcoin, as we said before, is trading at an area of resistance. And on top of that, also, as I said before, if there is going to be slightly more bearish news in terms of our CPI data right here, we can expect a rejection towards downside. And what are going to be our very important price targets we need to pay attention to? First of all, I would say that if there is a push towards the upside, we are then paying attention to a WXY correction. We are going to say Bitcoin finished its W wave right here. We are as of right now finishing potentially already our X wave. Or if we do see another push towards the upside, the X wave is actually going to be slightly higher. However, if we do see a rejection towards the upside, we are then expecting our final move towards the upside to be formed on the Bitcoin price itself. After then, we can of course expect another impulsive push towards the upside to be formed on the Bitcoin price itself. Now, before we do talk about the exact price target of our Y wave, I would really appreciate if you're right now actually smash up the like button because we are targeting right now 600 likes and on top of that also we are targeting directly 100,000 subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel and also liking the video. Now let me do share with you the exact price target of our Y wave 
if Bitcoin is going to see a rejection at this specific area, because of course, potentially, we might expect bearish CPI data release in only a couple of hours. All we have to do right here is to go with our Fibonacci extension price targets. We are going to go from our swing high back towards our swing low, back towards our swing high. Now, here you need to be very, very careful because if Bitcoin does see another push towards the upside, definitely we need to adjust our third pivot of the Fibonacci extension tool. But nevertheless, let's just say the top on Bitcoin is in. That way, we are going to start paying attention towards our 1 to 1 Fibonacci extension and also towards our 1.236 Fibonacci extension price target at approximately 55,150 US dollars. And remember what I said yesterday, both of those levels are very, very important. The 1 to 1 Fibonacci extension is aligning very, very nicely with our previous law right here. And also approximately also with, if we go right now with the anchored VWAP exactly from the low, it does look like our anchor VWAP, it is coming up approximately at our one-to-one. -one. Now, I would say it is not perfectly aligning, but nevertheless, the most important thing we are going to pay attention to are those specific lows right here, aligning with our one-to-one -one Fibonacci extension at 56,400 US dollars. Now, why am I saying that a rejection at this specific area can actually occur? Not only because, of course, if the CPI data is bearish right here, we can expect a push down, but only looking right now at the chart. Remember, there is one very famous quote, show me the chart and I will tell you the news. So if you look like that, and if, of course, the data right here is going to be bearish, we can expect a push towards downside because of our very important area of resistance. We already said the other day, the daily level right here, high from time from area of resistance, is a very important one that is right now aligning also with the golden Fibonacci ratio. Both of those levels on Bitcoin as of right now were already hit. And that is why I would say if a push towards downside it is going to occur, definitely, first of all, pay attention of the break of our SNE channel and then start paying attention also towards our one-to-one -one Fibonacci extension level right here at approximately 56,400 US dollars. And let me right now actually share with you a very interesting post from Dr. Profit, who is as a right now saying, in the Sunday report, I told you PPI and CPI data will be better than market expects. Powell needs a good reason for the September rate cut. Today, PPI numbers were better than market expected. That is, of course, why Bitcoin got this very nice push toward the upside. Tomorrow, we will see better CPI numbers than market expects. It's all up to you. So it does look like that some people as right now are expecting very bullish numbers in terms of CPI. If that is going to be the case, if Bitcoin is actually going to see a push toward the upside, of course, if the CPI data right here is going to be bullish, here I would say we still need to pay attention to some very important level. And that level is going to be liquidations above us here, mate please pay very close attention. You can notice that above our recent high, we have a lot of liquidations, approximately 350 million, additional 245 million, and additional 250 million above our previous high right here. And that is why if the CPI data right here is actually going to be bullish, Bitcoin actually does see a push toward the upside, I would simply say, pay attention to the reaction above our previous high. Because if the reaction right here is actually going to be bearish, all we are going to potentially do right here is grab liquidity above our previous high. We do see a swing failure pattern or a liquidity grab. It is going to be bearish indication for Bitcoin. And yes, we can actually be looking to go with a brand new short or a sell position on the Bitcoin price itself. Of course, if there is no reaction at our previous highs, if of course our CPI data right here is actually going to be bullish, I would say pay attention towards our higher target, which is going to be our daily at 65,300 US dollars. However, if there is a reaction, a swing failure pattern, I would definitely say Personally, I am interested to go with a brand new short or a sample session. And before right now, we also go directly into the indicators and towards another very interesting chart. You can actually trade with us with some insane free bonuses that are right now available with the links down below. Bybit as of right now is offering a free 500 US dollar trade right here. And all you have to do, click the link right here and register and claim your free 
500 US dollar position airdrop. On top of that, if you're going to go with Bluffin Exchange, where there is no KYC, as of right now, they're offering some insane prizes after initial deposit. So I would definitely say secure those bonuses because at the moment, they are still available with the links down below in the description. Now, let me do share with you another bearish indication on the Antler Stochastics DJ Oscillator that can be noticed on the 4 hour time frame. And it's going to be a double top pattern. This pattern right here, historically speaking, it has been one of the most bearish patterns you can actually see on the Antler Stochastics DJ Oscillator. We got a double top right here. We got a push towards downside. We got another double top right here. We got a push towards downside. We got another double top right here. We got a push towards the downside. So that is why as of right now, I am not even paying attention that much to the CPI data release. Yes, I do understand that this data right here is most probably going to increase the volatility of Bitcoin. But nevertheless, as of right now, if you ask me in terms of the chart, in my opinion, it does look slightly more bearish. I'm not saying we cannot pump towards the upside. Of course we can. And in that case, I am not going to enter a brand new short position. And my target is going to be 65,300 US However, if Bitcoin in the upcoming hours is going to maybe even grab liquidity above our previous high, we know we are trading at an area of resistance. We know that we are seeing a bearish indication on our Ather Stochastic CG oscillator on the four hour time frame with a double top pattern, which is a bearish indication of Bitcoin. Of course, if there is going to be a nice reaction towards downside, we can actually be looking to go with a brand new short or a sell position on the Bitcoin price itself. Now, if we are going to see no reaction above our previous highs, that being said, Bitcoin is not going to see a push towards downside in the upcoming hours, in the upcoming days. In that case, we are pretty much paying attention to the exact same scenario as we also got back in January 2024. A lie a couple of hours ago posted a chart that is right now comparing the wick that was formed in January 2024, which actually did not get filled. All we got right here was a wick towards downside, and then pretty much immediately Bitcoin continued much higher towards the upside. And if you look like that, it does look the scenario might even repeat. Of course, again, if we are not going to see a push towards downside in the upcoming hours, in the upcoming days on the Bitcoin chart itself. So in that case, if our current weekly candle is going to close something like that, historically speaking, we can be expecting an insane push towards the upside on the Bitcoin price itself. And that is, of course, going to be a very nice bullish indication, definitely then expecting for our daily high term time from area of resistance to actually be hit. But nevertheless, what we are as a right now seeing on Bitcoin, we are not trading in any significant uptrend. On the four hourly, we are in a downtrend. On the two hourly, we are in a downtrend. Yes, on the one hourly, we have gotten a bullish cross right here, which means that as of right now, we are trading in an uptrend on the one hour time frame. However, I would say that overall speaking, more time frames at the moment are looking slightly more bearish, potentially expecting and suggesting that we might see another push towards downside for us to actually also liquidate some people that are having liquidations below our previous lows, which then also means that we grab the liquidity below our previous lows. So that is right now my exact plan. If the CPI data is going to be bullish on Bitcoin, of course, most probably we are going to see a push towards the upside. If the push towards the upside occurs above our previous highs, and if there is a reaction towards the downside, bearish indication, personally, I'm looking for a brand new short or a sell position on the Bitcoin price itself. If there is no reaction, expect higher, and of course, expect our daily high term time from area of resistance to actually be hit in the upcoming days. Now, if the CPI data is going to be bearish, of course, we can expect a push towards downside. Pay attention of the break of our SNE channel, because if it breaks towards downside, we can then, of course, most probably expect for our one-to-one -one Fibonacci extension level, at least on Bitcoin, to actually get hit, or at least I would actually say for our previous lows to be broken towards downside for us to actually take the liquidity and to liquidate as much people as possible. So our plan, very, very simple. Uh, this specific area, we are not looking for longs. We are only looking for a potential short or a sell position, or if we do that, and see push towards downside, I would be interested to find your a brand new long quarry buying position approximately at our one to one, or maybe even ideally at our golden Fibonacci ratio if we are going to go that low to approximately. 54,000 US dollars right here on the Bitcoin price. Now, if you want to trade with us, secure some insane free bonuses using the links down below in the description after initial deposit, including a free trade right here on Bybit. And thank you for smashing up the like button.